Hello everyone again here, and today I'm going to be playing some more Modern Warfare 3. This is the second episode of Survive Live, and I'm going to be playing on Village. So let's get started. One second. Okay, there we go. I had to take a screenshot for the thumbnail right there, but uh, this is Village, which is unsurprisingly a village. It's in Africa, and as you can see right there, there's a church. <coughs> Okay, I'm still sick, but uh, I'm not, it's not as bad as it was before I can record videos, it's just unpleasant. But, man, this, I'm trying to use weapons other than the weapons I used before, so, or at least for the rest of the tier, so I can't use any I can't use the CM901 I can't use weapons that I picked up from enemies I, I guess I don't know, I haven't got a sort of actual definitive rules down I'm going to you know this is going to be the Pistols and machine pistols only episode, and let's go, let's start with the G80. Holy crap, that was expensive. Not sure if it was worth the money, honestly. There's no way I can engage at, at that range with a G18. So I'm going to try to flank around here. Like there's no real way I can engage at any range just being incredibly close. So I'd say that the G18 is the ultimate machine pistol to use at barrel stuffing range, but beyond that it's going to be pretty much useless. And that pretty much helps it through the multiplayer too. Replacement time. <coughs> Goodbye, G18. It was not very pleasant. And I'm going to switch between my pistol and my scorpion on alternating rounds. Actually, no, that's not a good idea. Um, let's try taking this way around. Okay, I'm going to have to take some take cover while I reload. Let's refill my armor and start the next round. This is actually going really quick. Oh, we're already up to the round with where they start using a P5. Not very useful range. 
but that's because it's a machine pistol, but even so, it's pretty clear that the best machine pistol for longer ranges is the MP9, and the best one for close range is the FMG9. Oh, well, speaking of the FMG9, <coughs> the FMG9 akimbo and multiplayer is just ridiculous. It, I don't think it ever got patched. So I guess it wasn't actually that bad, but... It was pretty annoying. In my memory collection, it was worse than the Akemo G18s in Modern Warfare 2, and those were pretty bad. I'm just tearing through enemies. It's time to buy a new pistol. Oh, handgun. It's under handguns and not pistols. Let's buy this. Huh. Well, I'm ill equipped to take down helicopters. With a shot, though. Oh, okay, there it is. Okay, I have already lost my armor. There are really very few places to hide on this map from the helicopter. The good thing about my headset is that I can hear the minigun spooling up. And just a couple parting shots, and now I need to buy a new machine pistol. So I think I'll go with the MP9, my favorite, and I'll be sticking with this the rest of the time. When this one's out of ammo, I'll be switching to the 44 mag. So, the thing about using different weapons every episode is I don't think I'll be able to do that in Ghosts at all in Advanced Warfare to the extent that I'll be able that I'm able to do it in Modern Warfare 3. And why did I not refill my army? That was a dumb idea. Oh well at least it's a semi automatic pistol. Okay, I'm going to want to be taking cover. Oh, there's only one bad guy left. Well, time to get armor and a new pistol, and probably a predator missile, too. Just considering how much you need a predator missile for drug rounds, and considering how there will probably be a drug round. Well, that's not what I meant to buy, but okay. <clears throat> Time to go to the air support armory. Oh no. <coughs> Suicide bombers, keep your distance. Predator missile ready for deployment. Yes, yeah, see how. 
get this machine pistol is it hardly kicks. And I was afraid to hint that I was ill equipped to take down a, a juggernaut. What, and the who rounds were there? Two jugs. Preposterous. I may as well refill my armor as well. And I, I can afford to buy some C4 too. Actually, that's for the second drug. Team, enemy attack dogs are approaching your location. What am I doing over here? <laughs> yep, I'm going to want to save that as a backup. This is just getting frantic. <clears throat> well, there we go. And now 8,330. I think next round I'll try to use light machine guns and shotguns, which that should be in next episode. That should be in hang. Oh, wait, I can. Let's go with the red dot. Nailed it. Not time to buy another bread. Wrong place to buy a bread. I'm gonna want to hurt. I love the little flames and smoke that a predator missile or javelin missile leaves behind. Not too long to buy a, another bread though. Uh, ready for deployment. There we go. Hmm, the graphics aren't that bad. Okay, I think those are the guys with AKs now. Ah, oh, wow. Okay, rushing him was a bad idea. Panic Deagle mode. There we go. Time to buy a body armor and refill bullets. And then start the next round. But I think I actually like the Deagle more than the 44. Aha, there they are. And I'm going to want to deal with them first. Using my baby SMG.
this thing is not a machine gun. It's like a miniaturized submachine gun that you can use at longer ranges than you can use the other machine pistols. Which in the case of the G18 is barrel stuffing range, which... As optimal as it is for barrel stuffing range, I gotta say, it's not that good overall. Whereas, actually something like the MP9, is not actually great at barrel stuffing range because it shoots a bit slower than the other machine pistols. Where am I going? Which has another level of controllability. Actually, if I just stay in the same location all the time, it's going to get boring. And I know you're around here. Oh gosh, they're throwing grenades. Suffice it to say, pistols only is no longer a reliable strategy. And I'm saying that as I bunny hop to safety. Or relative safety. And I am consuming most of my MP9 ammo each round. Wave 13 already. Wow. This is really going quick. I suspect next round there will be a juggernaut. I mean, even considering, I don't have that many areas to fight. I want no joke. I could fight here in the main village, or by the waterfall. That's really it. I can't fight anywhere else because there is nowhere else. And that's one of the problems with Call of Duty's maps. So, I mean, sort of as it pertains to the survival mo mode, but yeah, there's not that many places you can fight enemies. Oh gosh, what am I doing? I mean, I guess I can fight here, but... That's not very... That's not that different. Oh wow, 10,000. <laughs> Time to buy my usual upgrades, and I suspect next round will be the Juggernaut. Or Juggernauts. I really don't know. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, not juggernaut, juggernauts. Jug one is down.
Eagle panic mode is the best panic mode to have. Sentry gun ready for deployment. And let's put this here. And get some bullet in. I won't buy the Predator Missile until next round. Enemy forces heading your way. Okay, that, that did not take long at all. You know, I think I'll per perhaps swap out my Desert Eagle for an ACR. Because the ACR is a really useful gun, even though I think it's overused. ARs, ACR. And let's also go with the grenade launch. This thing looks really ugly, but. So I guess I won't buy the Predator Missile this maybe next round. This is actually going very well. The ACR! It really shreds. At some point, I'll get another pred. You know, I'll get another predator missile light. I really need more iron. Besides, I have C4. Beware, tankos reported to have C4 strapped to their chest. It's using the same kind of bullets as the AK. Also, not picture. Heard how the AK, how the ACR 6.8 doesn't really kick that much at all. And evidently, they do not realize what's going on. Refill blood ammo also refills grenades, underslung grenades, because obviously, underslung grenades are bullets. I, I actually forgot that I had my MP9. Okay, I'm going to want to run now.
Okay, then. I'm starting to get overwhelmed now. Not really, there are only three enemies. There we go. I'm definitely going to want to buy more armor than anything else. <coughs> I think next episode I'll buy an M4. Three jugs. Oh no. This is very bad news. Friendly predator missile inbound. Okay, time to shoot. Oh, he didn't even flinch at that. I says, "Whew, that that was close." Time to buy some body. Oh wow, four frags, four flash. Right there, that looks like it could have been the end of episode two. <laughs> but nah. I'm too tough to be taken out by a juggernaut. Although what will they start sending now that they've already got three juggernauts? How will they tap that? These guys! With type 95. No, FADs. Was that a war train? Doesn't matter. Not the best. Huh. You made it. Okay. Well, thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you later in episode 3. Game 453 out.